Hello, I'm Dr. David Suskin, a pediatric gastroenterologist at Seattle Children's Hospital, and welcome to SC Delicious. You found the place for recipes you can make on the specific carbohydrate diet, or SCD. This diet alone has brought many of my patients with active Crohn's and ulcerative colitis into remission. And the food on this diet can still be great, even for picky kids and teens. Here with me today is Maddie. Hello, Maddie. Hi. Maddie is an amazing young lady who has been on the SCD to treat her IBD. And she is going to teach us a delicious dish. Maddie, what's on the menu today? We're making banana cake. Banana cake? Your doctor lets you eat cake? Yeah. On the SCD? Yep, there's lots of yummy things to make on the SCD. That's amazing. What are the ingredients? Coconut oil, bananas, eggs, vanilla, honey, almond flour, cinnamon, baking soda, salt, and chopped almonds. Sounds delicious. I've got some official SCD uh, cooking hats right here. Now, you don't need to have the hat uh, to cook SCD foods, but it sure looks good. Um, and why don't we get started? Okay, so we have our oven preheating already and we have our pan lined with parchment paper. So the first step is taking the coconut oil and putting it in the bowl. And then we're gonna crack our eggs into the coconut oil. Just wanna break up the yolks. Oh, there we go. Next, we're gonna mash our bananas. So bananas on the SCD should have brown spots because that means the starch has started to break down. Then we're gonna add the bananas to the egg mixture over there. Then we're gonna add the vanilla and honey to that as well. Then we're going to take the almond flour the baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. And I'm gonna stir that. And then we're gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. So do you wanna pour that in here? Absolutely. I'm gonna mix that together now. How do you feel in terms of cooking with almond flour uh, versus uh, other types of flours? I love almond flour. I think it has a wonderful flavor and it also keeps baked goods really moist, which I like. So now we're going to pour this into the baking pan, so if you want to grab that. We're going to pour it into the baking pan. And spread it around. And then we're going to take the chopped nuts and put them on top. Would you like to sprinkle them on top? I would love to. Wonderful. So now we're going to put this into the 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes or until a knife comes out clean. So while that's baking, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey on the SCD? Yeah, sure. So right after my diagnosis, I went on to Entral Nutrition on an NG tube. And so I was exclusively on formula and no, little to no solid food at all. Um, and then over a course of one and a half years, I was able to slowly add in some SCD solid food. And it was a wonderful experience because I was able to get excited about food again. And to be able to eat was just out of this world. It was phenomenal. And so I think that's one of the reasons I'm always so excited about food and especially SCD is because from not having any chance to eat solid food to going to being able to eat some again. I think that's what makes food so powerful for me and I love that. That's so wonderful. Something smells delicious. I think the cake might be ready. Let's go get it. Ta-da! Wow, that looks great. Can I taste? Yes. That is SC delicious. This is fantastic. Thank you so much for showing us how to make this. To learn more about Seattle Children's IBD program and the valuable resources for our families and patients, visit seattlechildrens.org backslash IBD. And remember, the Specific Carbohydrate Diet, or SCD, 
doesn't have to be restrictive or boring. It can be SC delicious.